scientists have been searching for signs of extraterrestrial life for more than three decades. Although all the efforts have been unsuccessful so far, but in the meantime, there were discoveries from the outer world of the Earth that gave mankind hope in finding extraterrestrial life. In this video, we take a look at the most important space events in 2022. But let's start the video with the topic that I mentioned at the end of last year's video, that is, in the video of the most important space events in 2021. In the last days of 2021, the Chinese Mars rover Yudo-2 released the image of a mysterious house or arch on Mars and was heading towards this object for a more thorough investigation. Finally, in January 2022, the China Space Agency announced that, after many scientific investigations, it was found that this object is just a strangely shaped rock and there is no mysterious house. But there is no justification as to why this stone looked like an arch from a distance. UFO is the name chosen for unidentified flying objects. In the past few decades, not only the reports of many ordinary and well-known people about encounters with these objects have been recorded, but also reports of human and animal abductions by UFOs have been recorded in the National UFO Reporting Center. But this center has recorded 4,655 reported sightings of UFO around the world in 2022, which has increased compared to last year. In the meantime, reports of UFO sightings in the sky of Iran have also increased, one of which belongs to May 11, 2022 at 1816 in the sky of Tehran. But on February 3, 2022, Scott Waring, who is known as the Space Alien Hunter, pulled out an image from NASA's Mars rover photo archive and published it on his website. The image was uploaded by NASA in April 2021, but Scott found it on February 3, 2022. In this image, a person seems to be lying on a stone slab and watching NASA's Mars rover from a distance. Scott C. Waring said of the photo, this sighting proves 100% intelligent life on Mars. He described the creature as a tall with a pink body. Although NASA is silent about this, some researchers believe that this could be a visual error. What do you think about this photo? In fact, mysterious images of the surface of Mars have been published many times, challenging the space agencies. Pictures like human face, pyramid, object like spoon and more. But in March, scientists launched a project called Beacon in the Galaxy. The Beacon project in the galaxy is a binary coded message to transmit to extraterrestrial intelligences in the Milky Way galaxy. The message includes basic mathematical and physical concepts for creating a universal means of communication, followed by information on the biochemical composition of life on Earth, the location of the solar system in the Milky Way galaxy relative to known globular clusters, as well as digital images of male and female figures. Both of them are completely naked, their hands are raised and they wave to say hello. Scientists hope that this message will reach extraterrestrial intelligence and they will contact Earth. But in April, the University of Cambridge published an article in the International Journal of Astrobiology, which is the result of several years of research by astronomers such as Alberto Caballero on the origin of the signal WOW. 
1977, astronomer Jerry Amer received radio waves that lasted for 1 minute and 12 seconds. This signal contained an alphabetic code and was nicknamed the Iwao signal. But the results of studies published in April 2022 claim that the source of this signal is from the constellation Sagittarius and a potential solar star and has the expected signs of an extraterrestrial origin. But that's not the whole story as this article claims that there are as many as four destructive extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy that could attack our planet. Alberto Caballero also warned scientists to be careful using the messaging method for extraterrestrial intelligence for fear of provoking an alien invasion. Last year, NASA's Curiosity rover continued its search of the Martian surface with the goal of trying to understand the Red Planet's history and geology and perhaps find signs of life. Among the photos released in May was a photo that appeared to show a portal on the Rock of Pain. This is what to us Earthlings looks like an underground shelter. Although the speculations of the fans of the existence of extraterrestrials went towards a sign of the existence of life on Mars, NASA announced that it is only about 45 centimeters high. However, who said Martians have to be our height? But then geologists explained that there are several straight-line fractures in this area, and this portal is located exactly where those straight lines intersect. So there is no portal there as we imagine. However, this explanation did not change the opinion of the supporters of extraterrestrial life, who believe that scientists are engaged in some kind of cover-up. But what do you think? Actually some believe that this entrance has a strange resemblance to the entrance of temples in ancient Egypt. It could have a similar function for an important building for the Martians who lived on the Red Planet. Following the increase in sightings of unidentified flying objects by military pilots in 2021, the Ministry of Defense of the United States decided to establish a new office to investigate these cases more seriously. On June 21, 2022, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office was established in the Pentagon. The office investigates unidentified flying objects and other unusual phenomena, sometimes called Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAP. But a few months after the establishment of the office, in December, Sean Kirkpatrick, who heads the office, said that to date the Pentagon has received several hundred reports about the phenomenon. Although, after him, Ronald Moultrie, the U.S. Deputy Secretary of Defense for Intelligence and Security, said, I have not seen anything in these warehouses to date that indicates alien visits, alien crashes, or anything like that. But on June 14, 2022, Chinese astronomers claimed to have received signals from extraterrestrial civilizations. These signals were picked up by the largest radio telescope in the world, the giant radio telescope of China's FAST, also known as the Eye of the Sky. The claims were made in Science and Technology Daily, the official newspaper of China's Ministry of Science and Technology. However, the report was soon removed from the website, and Chinese astronomers declared that the origin of these signals was not extraterrestrial, but terrestrial. But finally, after years of indifference about the sighting of unidentified flying objects, NASA announced in July 2022 that it has decided to form a professional team to study these unidentified flying objects. The team will be led by astrophysicist David Spurgel, president of the Simons Foundation for the Advancement of Scientific Research. The mission of this team will start from the fall of 2022 and will continue for nine months with a budget of about $100,000. I spent most of my career as a cosmologist, and I can tell you that we don't know 95% of the universe. So there are things we don't understand," Spurgel told reporters. 
No doubt you have seen photos and videos of UFOs taken by ordinary people, but usually these photos and videos are not clear, so there is always a doubt. But in August 2022, a clear image of a UFO was released for the first time. This photo of a large diamond-shaped object suspended in the sky was taken along with five other photos on August 4, 1990 by two hikers on a hillside near Calvine, about 35 miles northwest of Perth in Scotland. The photo was given to the Daily Record, and they in turn sent it to the Ministry of Defense. But in November, the Saturn research team announced that they had discovered new evidence that Saturn's moon Enceladus has oceans that have all the basic needs and materials needed for life to survive. According to a new study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences PNAS, researchers believe that Enceladus Ocean is full of dissolved phosphorus, an essential element for life. Christopher Glynn of the Southwest Research Institute and one of the authors of the paper said, Enceladus is one of the main targets in the human search for extraterrestrial life in the solar system. But on December 15, NASA published an article about two super-Earths. In this article, it is stated that a team led by researchers from the University of Montreal found evidence that two exoplanets named Kepler 138c and Kepler 138d orbiting a red dwarf star are water worlds. According to the researchers, not only extraterrestrial life may exist in these two planets, but these planets can be a suitable option to replace the Earth. Like the Earth, water forms a large part of the whole of these two planets. Like Earth, these exoplanets have interiors composed of metals and rocks. Located in a planetary system 218 light-years away in the constellation Lyra, these planets are unlike any other planet found in our solar system, 